one good thing, I'm almost finished paying off my car. I am almost finished paying it off, man. All right. <clears throat> That's yeah, a plus. I, oh, yeah, man. It's about time. And, and don't forget, you're also almost paid the lawnmower, too. Oh, yeah, man. It's going to be a good year. 20 to 21 is going to be a year where I don't, I don't want to have less bills to pay, man. The lawnmower, you're right. lawnmower is going to be paid off the car. Mm-hmm. I look at the car on the only oh like two thousand on the car. Shoot, right point. there you can tell wifey, remember that money you've been holding from me for over the past year or so? Can you pay my car off? And you're done. Oh, let me let me tell you about that. Let me oh tell you about that. my <laughs> god. This is crazy, man. Now my wife like, does stuff, you know. Mm. And she has a good heart when she does it, man. Okay. This, this is what happens. My girl, she pays ties. She pays ties. To the church, to a to a um to a mother's church, or whatever. Okay. So she's been paying tithes with them for a couple of years now. Mm-hmm. So what happens? This is how she sets it up, man. She doesn't send them a check or anything. Okay. What she does, she she has an account on her job. What they do is this account that she has on the job, they siphon money into a check and they send it to the church. Mm-hmm. But what what's been happening? Like we had got her invoice in. The invoice states, okay, this is how much money you have donated to the church. Within the past couple of months or years or whatever, so mm-hmm. what happened? It came in. It was like um forty bucks, and she split the fuck out. She's like, "Wait a minute, I gave y'all more than this." And she's on the phone. I can hear her. And then after that, I was like, "What's going on, honey?" And she's like, "Man, this church, this church teed me off." And I was like, "Oh, I was like, you only gave them forty bucks." And she's like, "No, no, no, I gave them more than that." And I was like, "How much did you give them?" And she's like. I gave him about $5,000. Damn, wait a minute. She spread it out, like, but not at one time. It was spread out. Holy fucking shit. Are you serious? Yeah, she gave, she's been doing that, but this is the catch. The church has been taking the checks, and they haven't been looking at them. They've just been cashing them as they come in. So she called the church up, and she's like, I'm trying to understand this. Um, I send tides in. I've been sending you guys a three hundred. I've been sending you a three hundred dollar check monthly, whatever, blah blah blah. Oh my god! And y'all have not, you know. And I get forty bucks back, you know. I get this. It should be more than this on my statement. So they were like, "Oh, you're the one. Oh, you're the one to be sending the three hundred dollars in." And she was like, "When well, you look at the check, is my name should be at the bottom. It's first it's my company that I work with." And at the, you know, you know how they write the subject out? My name's the sure. subject. Hmm. These motherfuckers weren't even looking. They were just cashing checks that they were coming in, man. Oh, my they God. They weren't investigating. I was like, honey, you could have been, we could have been, long, we could have been laundering money up in this motherfucker. Oh, my. I'm just thinking about this. So, so over five G's. This has to be within a two-year period, because if you're giving three hundred a month times twelve months is thirty-six hundred dollars. So you're looking at at least a year and a half to two years. You've been doing this, or that she's been doing this. Yeah. No wonder you haven't gotten any of your money. No wonder you haven't. You no, know, if she didn't want to offer to pay uh, for the lawnmower or anything like that, because she's been giving everything to the church. Hallelujah. Yeah, see, I had to laugh at that. Laugh? Like, laugh? Really? I'm oh, sorry. I, I told her, I was like, I was like, if you give me the money, you know this shit going where this shit's going at. I'm thinking it like that. Yeah, I'm if, you, like, if you're you know, giving out $300 every week to the church, and I'm like, yo, we had, we had, wait a minute, we, we just had from Joe Biden, he gave us $1,600. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen anything from the first stimulus. Bro, you are indebted. You are indebted. You don't even have money. You had to pay. How did you? You had to pay out of pocket for your lawnmower. You've been paying out of pocket for your for your car. You're almost done these payments. And not one little peep has been said by the other half said, well, I'll help you pay this. I'll put something in here. No, she's putting it into the damn church. And then they, which I don't mind. But what? What? But I don't ask to think about it. I don't ask her for money like that, man. Let's it, that's not the point. The point is, I'm sorry with the church, all respect to the church. You're going to get a collection envelope for maybe $5 and be happy with it. Because the Lord doesn't worry about material things. Last time I checked the Bible. Because no, no, you can't no, take saying, it with you. No, you can't. But she, but by right, you're supposed to put, and she did, she was like, by right, I'm supposed to be giving 10%, but I'm giving a little less than that. And I was like, I'm like shit. You give me more than that. You are ten. Wait a minute. Yeah. You're supposed to give ten percent of what? Who said this? If you are tied, 
it, it, that's what you're supposed to do. If you're tired, and that's how much you're supposed to give well, up. Wait, where did you hear this from? Jada Minister told us this. Oh, my God. You're going to burn in hell, Peter. Bro, does, let me ask you hell. one thing with this minister. Does this minister have a nice little Mercedes-Benz 380i parked in the back of the parking lot? Jeez. All ministers tell you that. Your, your pastor never told you that you had to, when you tired, that you had to give up 10%, man. Hell to the no. And you know yeah, what he man. you know what he used to drive? Scepter. He used to drive a Hyundai. He used to drive Scepter. <laughs> he used to drive Scepter. Okay? That's crazy. Bro. Come on, man. I'm sorry. I'm going to use one of your old phrases from, from back in the day in, in the temple days. Sir, I think you have been bamboozled. I think you have been hoodwinked. I think you've been led astray. No, no, gee. No, 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 no. That's what, that's what you pay, man, when you're at these churches, bro. You got this building expense and all this other stuff. They rely a lot on the congregation, oh, man. And, and that's fair. That's fair. So then I can go to the congregation. I can go to uh, Brother Pastor Mr. Man Jones and say, Brother Pastor Mr. Man Jones. I need to borrow this church for a minute, and uh, I got to take care of some, you know, I'm going to do an event and everything like that. Oh, well, we're going to charge you. No, no, no. You're not going to charge me anything. Why? Because I pay your ass already for this. So this church is my church as well. Oh, no, no. They, you can do that. You can actually make an event. If you've been doing what you need to do, like we wanted to, we could easily rent without having to pay anything, man. Because, no, no, that that, that, is, that is right. They don't do that, man. They don't change the game up like oh you know they, they will cater to you if we want to have any events at, at grace we no that. no fees no nothing like that don't ex don't expect no, no, any no, they're not allowed a that, penny bro. from me okay i can see that but but then at the same time respectfully and i say this respectfully from the heart of my bottom mr cortez even if the missus was giving 300 to them a week she could at least give you a little something something right I mean, so you can if if you had to hold on to it for a new fridge, or if you had to hold on to it to make a make a payment for the car or for the lawnmower, she could have given you something, right? I mean, fair is fair to say, right? Ah, oh, but I don't. The thing is, I don't ask for it, man. It doesn't. Do you always have to ask for something? It's like sometimes they can just give just because. It's the old uh, the old saying. Just I just did it just because. Mm. That's all I'm trying to say. Because, yeah, you know, you didn't say anything. We're not going to say anything sometimes. It's just because, you know, we don't feel the need for it and everything like that. And, yeah, of course, you, you know, uh, you, you're not going to say too much about it because, you know, you have everything you want. But there's times where you might need to get some words for the house or whatever. And it might be good just to say, hey, look, you know, I got this little extra spare $300. Here you go. Let me put it towards the pot or whatever. Nothing wrong I'm with that. I'm paying attention, man. It's not wrong with ass, but, you know. 